to the embers of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam in the Republic of South Africa. Senior Colonel Tringo Dai stepped forward on the podium and received the general salute. General salute, present us! Your Excellencies, Ambassadors here present, the Ombudsman, Generals and Admirals, Senior Officers, Members of the South African Defense Force, Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning. My name, as already alluded to, is Brigadier General Norman Matuhunye from Zimbabwe, DA2. The Republic of South Africa. It is my singular honor to stand in front of you on behalf of my fellow DAs and deputies who are being accredited today. The Republic of South Africa has rules and regulations. Same with the military attache and advisory corps. I want to urge my colleagues to abide by these guidelines which should be coupled with our own working procedures. This parade that we are undergoing reflects that we have been cordially received by the host country, the Republic of South Africa, and the SANDF in particular, with two hands. It is therefore incumbent upon us all to reciprocate the gesture by commendable discipline and meticulous attention to details of our duties as defense attaches. Countries that sent us here have faith in us. We should be exhibited by us. We should therefore raise the flags of our countries in that regard. On the other hand, our association with the SANDF should make us richer intellectually, which should enable us to stay bigger at the end of our tours of duty. We would have widened our horizons on some aspects of the military and even social life, let alone diplomacy as members of the diplomatic corps. In conclusion, therefore, I would like to thank the CDI for accepting us as evidence by this parade and certificates, which I believe we are going to get, 
as a tangible permit to carry out our mandate as defense as a chief. I also want to thank you all who have come to witness our colorful accreditation parade, a historic event in our lives. It is indeed a privilege for me to address you as a representative, you as representative of Military Diplomatic Corps. I would like to extend to you the greetings of our Chief of the South African National Defense Force, General Soli Shoke. Equally, in my capacity as Chief of Defense Intelligence, I want to congratulate you on the commencement of your tour of duty here in South Africa and bid you a heartfelt welcome. It is with satisfaction that this prestigious event happens today, the 25th of May 2018, which is Africa Day. We therefore join the rest of our continent in celebrating this day. We also take a vow that we as custodians of security in our continent will continue to do so, to do our duty to make our continent a continent free of insecurity, instability, and uncertainty. Africa Day marks a quest for unity of the continent and for the political and economic emancipation of its people as well as cooperation among us. The concept of military diplomacy enables our respective defense forces to interact regularly. Through this platform, we are afforded the opportunity to bring defense liaison onto a more manageable platform for the purpose of enhancing collaboration between our defense forces worldwide. As we are gathered here today, we share a common understanding of the unique challenges our world is facing and a common desire to add positively to the progression of international stability, peace, development we so desire. Lieutenant Colonel Jos van Rossum, Defense Attaché from the Netherlands to South Africa. Senior Colonel of Bay Bajie, Defense Attaché from the South Africa. Captain Mustafa, Defense Attaché from Nigeria to South Africa. Colonel Nanos Batalha da Silva, Defense Attaché from Portugal to South Africa. Colonel Chutep, Kyokapi, Defense Attaché from Thailand to South Africa. I am Colonel Tavinian, Defense Attaché from Uruguay to South Africa. Senior Colonel Tim O'Brien, Defense Attaché from Vietnam to South Africa. Brigadier General Norman Matoguchi, he is Zimbabwe to South Africa. 